look at how cool this is. This is in a woods, which is just awesome. They got this cantilever deck over the edge. They got a fountain down here, the stack slate urn. I mean, look at how gorgeous that is with the sun coming in. I mean, why do you need to go on vacation? I mean, they got that sunroom up there looking over this. It looks like some kids have already put some foam in there. Yeah, yeah, it's a neighborhood, right? It's Halloween. Yeah, uh, yeah. We come out here for breakfast. We come out here for lunch. Lunch <laughs> yeah. right now is what we're doing. And dinner as well. There's Ricky Bobby. What town are we in? Atlantic Beach, Florida. Atlantic Beach, Florida. Beautiful neighborhood. Look at this yard. I love this. And I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. And it's all about showcasing how people all over the world <laughs> live the aquascape lifestyle. Oh, perfect. Hi, how are you? Gonna eat Wow, this is awesome, dude. Ooh. Hi, guys. Hi. I'm the Mark, Beckenbach. Mark, the pond guy. Greg, nice to meet you. Pleasure. Greg, Bryce. Hey, Bryce. Yes, sir. How you doing? Pleasure to meet you. So, is this your son? My son. Yes. Okay, can you beat your dad in uh, arm wrestling? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, come <laughs> he on. He doesn't want to see it right Come now. on. He want it goes like he's got some old man muscle there. I don't know about <laughs> that, bro. <laughs> the thing that's so fun for me, oh, here comes a new pup. He hasn't even noticed. Oh, there you go, Ricky Bobby. There. What's so fun for me with all this is no two water features are alike. I mean, look at how cool this is. This is in a woods, which is just awesome. They got this cantilever deck over the edge. They got a fountain down here, the stack slate urn. I mean, look at how gorgeous that is with the sun coming in. I mean, why do you need to go on vacation? I mean, they got that sunroom up there looking over this. I can't even imagine this yard without this water feature. It just makes it. I say all the time, a water feature turns a house into a home. It's just enjoying them. They're having lunch out here. They're sitting. It's frustrating for me because people don't realize what they can do in their yard. And that's why I do these vlogs. I'm trying to inspire people to live the aquascape lifestyle because it's so cool. Hey, Mark, can I ask you a quick question? Sure. How many years has this been for you to have this water feature? Uh, about two. Okay. So I love to say a water feature turns a house into a home. How has this changed the way that you live in your house? Actually, we come out here for breakfast. We come out here for lunch. Lunch <laughs> yeah. right now is what we're doing. And dinner as well. I mean, my wife and I will sit down and uh, we'll put a candle over here and we'll have dinner together. This is two years ago that you put this in. How long have you lived in this house? Since 1987. 34 years, yeah. yeah. And what was here before? Actually, right over here was a deck that was on only about 10 feet and okay. go the length over here and we would have a tire swing oh, okay tree right here yeah and bryce and his sister and all their friends would just go out towards the woods and at that time the woods would be right at the end of the pond so we would go ahead and have that and but we didn't use the back very much yeah for you know the, the kids, kids. Going the and now the kids are old and almost out of the house right mm -hmm. mr software engineer
So you would say this was a definitely change the way you use your property. Oh, definitely. In fact, my wife was just talking about how much she enjoys it. So how did this happen? Was it your wife or you, both of you? Did you go into Earthworks? Like, what, what was the story here with this pond? We had talked about this, you know, retiring in this location, and we wanted to go ahead and have a change in the back uh, you know, for us. And uh, we weren't sure exactly what we wanted. We just thought maybe some gardens or whatever else. I saw something online saw a beautiful pond that was spectacular yep and stopped off of over with Jason at Earthworks. You sent us over to the gentleman in uh, Val uh, Valencia. Yeah. Oh, the Paints. The Paints, yeah. The Paints, we did this project together. His pond, him and I built it together. For well, our TV show. Mm -hmm. Well, he was wonderful and his yep. wife was as well. And uh, my wife said actually to Jason, I want to be wowed. Well, she was wowed <laughs> and I was as well. <laughs> and we walked over and said, we'd like something like that. Yep, and, so this is that uh, design. So Jason ended up going coming on over. We saw the finished product and we've been enjoying it ever since. Amen. We got a really cool pond on this one. It's a pond with an overflow. So we have our intake bay here where we've got a medium stack site sphere built into it. We have two pumps in this one. Definitely have a 9PL and I think a four to eight. The 9PL is just for the waterfall. The four to eight pumps for this guy and that guy. Any excess also goes to the biofall up top. Around 20 aqua blocks for this one for the size pond we've got for the overflow on it. Works out great. He has a ton of leaf debris, as you can see. So they are constantly blowing out this for the skimming process. We have roughly around 30, 35 tons of rock built in for this one. This one was really cool because it's very natural, the way the hill is built on this one. I believe one three inch line running up to the top and a two inch line running along, tee off to each one of these guys. Really cool driftwood included in it. Another really cool feature is the way that the deck interacts with everything on this one. So you come around, you've got the deck, you step down onto the step. And this one, my favorite always, is that feeling of that cantilever. Like how is that rock sitting there? It looks like it's supposed to fall over. This is just a natural step across instead of a, a standard bridge. You couldn't take a wheelchair over it, but this works great. It feels like something you see in nature. Waterfall at the top. I think we have a 6,000 biofall. So with a little bit extra filtration, we could have done a wetland filter on this one, but we chose to go with a 6,000 biofall for the filtration. And then we've got easily 12 to 15 lights in here, all one watt and three watt light fixtures. This pond would have sold for around 35,000, fully installed, spheres, everything. Okay, here we are. So I love being able to go in the car and now you have to get out and show one of your work. So this is an entrance way to a subdivision, huh? Yep. I'll just pull over on the side. Looks like somebody's repairing a fountain out there. You know what I love about this, Jason? We can show people what an actual entrance way to a nice subdivision looks like with a water feature that's working. So when did you build this? I think we built this roughly two years ago, maybe three. It was a big need. And the weird thing was, or the funny thing was, we actually came out here probably 15 years ago and for a paver contractor helped them do this paver water wall, uh -huh. which I disagreed with right off the beginning and said, hey, this is not built to last, da 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 da, da. And so funny enough, this all circled back around. And, and they hired you to re build it rebuild it. Ourselves. They talked to just us. And it looks like some kids have already put some foam in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a neighborhood, right? It's Halloween. Yeah, yeah. All right, but beautiful waterfalls and it is flowing, which is highly unusual at an entranceway to a subdivision. All right, guys, on this water feature, we have another 20 aqua block reservoir set up. 
The golfers pass right through here every single day, so we had to do this very low profile design. We have two vaults, just for if they wanted to ever upgrade and have a little bit more wow going on, because we had to fit a budget. So we do have a Surumi 12 PN and a 4,000 to 8,000, that way they can control it if they didn't want it as high. So it's 20 aqua blocks, probably somewhere around 1,200 square feet of liner, 2,400 square feet of underlayment, two three inch pipes, that return up to the top here in a three aqua block, just customized return. Instead of having a spillway, we have three aqua blocks set up in here. There are two three inch lines that come in, bulkhead right into it, easily allows it to flow, very natural look coming out. I believe on this project, we use somewhere in the realm of 30 tons of Tennessee Fieldstone. And we have about 15 lights on this project, a combination of three watt and one watt light, light water features. I get so frustrated because everywhere I go, I see entranceways and subdivisions that they want the most dramatic entranceway possible. So they put in a water feature, but they hire a non-certified aquascape conductor, a guy who does not specialize in water features to put it in. And I'm telling you, nine times out of 10, it's an ugly looking water feature. It doesn't flow right. It doesn't look good. It might not even be an on all and it always leaks. And then people get a wrong perception of what decorative water features should look like. This. Upon this waterfall, simple design is going to work flawlessly for as long as they have this subdivision. This is why I do these vlogs to educate people on a pond done right, customer serve right, which is the mantra of the certified aquascape contract.